A trend appears to be emerging in the war between Russia and Ukraine. Putin's forces are stepping up their missile attacks on Ukrainian civilian targets. Not as mere collateral damage in the heat of battle, but rather, perhaps, as high precision strikes hundreds of miles behind the front line. On Thursday, a missile fired by a Russian submarine in the Black Sea hit central Vinnytsia, which is a city far closer to Romania and Moldova than it is to Donbass, where the fighting between Ukrainian and Russian armies has focused. Amid the dead was Lisa, a four-year-old girl. Shortly before the missiles fell, her mother innocently filmed her strolling down the street on the way back from a speech therapy class. The olive? After the attack, the photo that the Telegraph has chosen not to display showed a tiny body, crumpled and bloody, lying next to her broken buggy. Russia's Ministry of Defence claimed it hit a legitimate military target, the House of Officers. And technically, the Kremlin's missiles did hit the House of Officers in Venistir, except that it was not a military target, as a quick internet search will tell you. People in Venistir were shocked. They have thought that hundreds of miles from the front line they were safe from Russian attack. It is this fear that the Kremlin is banking on to help push its war aims in Ukraine. For them, the missile strike in central Venistia is more evidence of a cynical Kremlin strategy to waste psychological warfare in order to undermine morale. And there have been several other missile strikes in the past fortnight on soft civilian targets in Ukraine, miles from the front line, that appear to betray the strategy too. There was a strike on an apartment block in Kiev on June 26 that killed one person. The strike the next day at a busy shopping centre in Klementruk, central Ukraine, that killed another 16 people. The strike on an apartment block in Chaziv Yard in the Donbass region killed 48 people only a week ago. And then there have been various hits on universities and other soft targets in Molokhaev in South Ukraine. All this, many analysts have said, suggests that Russia is determined to remind ordinary Ukrainians that wherever they live, death can be dealt out to them randomly and suddenly. The targets may be soft civilian targets, universities, crowded railway platforms, shopping malls, city centre squares, apartment blocks, but the Russian military objectives are cold and hard. The Russian military is determined to give Vladimir Putin his victory in his war in Ukraine. Undermining civilian morale is part of the strategy. And this means bombs and death.